indoor and outdoor use. In particular, this model is called the ADS460. You can buy this online at Swan A's website for $179.99. Obviously, it's industrial. It's hardcore, heavy duty, metal, so it's a really nice quality. It's also night vision, so you can get really good pictures and resolution at night as well as during the daytime. Uh, I would say this is specifically, uh, the use case scenario for this would be um, maybe a storefront or uh, in somebody's office space, something like that. Um, it's a little bit more heavy duty than I would recommend for home use necessarily, but if you have your own office, you might wanna consider this one. A uh, few things that I found that were interesting about this one, in particular, it can do not only wireless, but it can also do wired connections. So you'll be able to connect yeah. via WAN or LAN. Uh, it does have a small antenna on the back, but you can, of course, upgrade this if you like. It's just a little 5 dB antenna on the back. It also has the Ethernet port here. Now, one thing that I noticed, if you want to con connect via wireless, you have to use the WPS button to do so. So if you're not a big fan of WPS, like me, then I would say connect via the Ethernet and just run a really long Cat5 cable over there. So when I connected to this on my computer, the connection was fine, it ran very well. I was able to choose my resolution, so if I felt like 720p would be too high, 720p is the max for this camera, then I could also cut it down to you know 640 or even lower, 320 if I wanted to. I can record all of the video on this, and I can also take photos while I'm watching as well. Now, if you don't have it currently running and you want to get data and get a video stream of something that's happening back at your office while you're away, you also have the ability to plug in a micro SD card onto the inside. Luckily, it does require you to screw it on and screw it off to be able to access the micro SD card, which is kind of nice because it'll keep anybody away from stealing your memory or stealing anything that you've already recorded onto that SD card. Uh, you can do up to 32 gigs on there. While I was watching it on my computer, my MacBook, uh, I noticed that color was pretty good. It was a little green during the daytime and at night it automatically switched over to night vision and it was very, very clear and crisp. So I had no problems with night vision on this camera. Uh, one thing I did notice though was when I downloaded the app from the Apple App Store, there were a lot of really bad reviews. Everyone said that it crashed constantly and they couldn't even use it. I didn't have as many problems with it crashing on my MacBook Air. Uh, the first time I booted up the program, I had to put in my username and login credentials once I registered. I also had to put in the actual model number and the specific ID and device number of this specific camera. It only crashed once for me and it was just that first time that I booted it up. So you might be wondering what's in the box. You get an ethernet cord, your power cord, and you also get an extension cable for uh, your power. So is this a product that I would recommend? Hmm, well, my pros and cons of this go. Pros, it is mountable, which is great, and it comes with all the mounting screws that you need. It also has the great night vision, and you can record audio, and the audio is pretty darn clear. On the con side though, when you're recording live or when you're watching live, you can only watch for three minutes. This is the same problem that Justin Robert Young had with his Swan Eye HD camera. Also, I noticed that there is no movement with this one. They do give you that option in the app, but you'll notice that your camera is not moving anywhere, and you can also not use the microphone. That would be pretty cool if I could talk to my cats while I was at work and just like yell at them and totally freak them out. I would love to do that. And my last con, WPS. Why? Why are we still doing this, people? Come on, move on from the WPS. It drives me crazy. Buy, try, or don't buy. It's definitely a good price, it's, especially if you're on a budget and you need a really good high-tech security camera. And this is probably the best one that I've checked out so far. I've checked out some from Belkin, some on Swan Eye, and a few others. And I have to say, buy, try, or don't buy, I would give it a try. Might be too expensive for your taste, so definitely keep an eye out for some of their bargain uh, security cameras as well that use the same application. Again, I'm Shannon Morse, and this was the Swan Eye HD Indoor Outdoor Camera ADS460. Hope you enjoyed it. Back to the studio.